my mother was um, uh, pregnant with my younger brother, uh, three months pregnant when my father came to her and asked her to abort the child. Apparently, my mother was my mother told me that they required the fetus of a young child, and it has to be his own biological child. Hello viewers, my name is Boma Simeon Anger and I'm here to tell you my life stories and I'll be telling you these stories in a series. My early childhood memory began as a journey, a journey that took me from the palace and ended in the dung hill, the waste dump of Agri Road Water site. My early memory of my birth. I was born into the family of uh, late Chief Lawrence Kenneth Anger and Mrs. Uh, Juwan Anger. My father was a very wealthy businessman. In his time, he, he, you could call him a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire. He was involved in construction, the reconstruction of Potakot after the Biafran Nigerian Civil War and he was also heavily vested into importation of uh, essential commodities, which was in so much demand. Um, our house was like a palace, and it has everything. For a child, it looks like heaven. I had servants waiting on me. I had everything at my beck and call. And it was such a wonderful life anyone would want to have. But my dream was, my dream life was not to last long. It was shattered when my parents suddenly had an irreconcilable difference that ended up their marriage and they separated. Uh, much later, I got to hear, uh, learn from my mother the circumstances that led to the separation and eventual divorce. Now, according to the story from my mother, my father was so wealthy that he uh, his friends advised him and they said, my friend, we don't do like this. So you don't have this kind of wealth and don't have a proper insurance. Well, they are not referring to the traditional uh, English life insurance. They were asking him to go for an African life insurance. By that, they asked him to uh, fortify himself against um, enemies, against enemy attack, a possible enemy attack by joining courts. So my father took the advice to heart and became a member of uh, a number of secret courts. Among them were the Amok, Resecution, and other uh, courts. Now, uh, they placed a demand on him. And uh, the demand they placed on him made him make a very strange request from my mother. My mother was um, uh, pregnant with my younger brother, uh, three months pregnant when my father came to her and asked her to abort the child. Apparently, my mother, was, my mother told me that they required the fetus of a young child and it has to be his own biological child. So my father told my mother to abort the child. And my mother could not think of any good reason why a married woman should have bought a child. So she pestered my father for a reason. And my father said, he has a girlfriend, a mistress outside, who is also pregnant about the same time with my mother. And he cannot have two children crying at the same time in the house. And asked my mother to abort her since she already has a first child. That's me. My mother said, God will be angry at her if she obeys my father in that regard, that it was evil. So for the first time since they got married, my mother resisted my father and disobeyed him. And her punishment for disobeying him came as a threat that he was going to divorce her, he was going to throw her out without any support. Viewers, uh, that was how my mother, who thought this, uh, this will pass, 
was without warning thrown out of her matrimonial home. And because my father was very wealthy, nobody wanted to mess with chief. Nobody came to the rescue or to the help of my mother. My mother could not find anybody to financially support her. And the only place she could find accommodation that she could afford was Agri Road Waterside. Now, Agri Road Waterside in the 70s and early 80s in Portacot was the, um, the waste dump where all the refuge and all the sewage in Portacot was emptied. And it's like a dung hill. That was, it was behind this waste dump that you had a sprawling uh, urban jungle. And that was where my mother found home. And I call that, uh, uh, for want of uh, description, I'll call it a dung hill. It was where you say survival of the fetus. In the next episode, I'll be telling you how my journey progressed from the palace ended up in the dung hill and what life in the dung hill looked like. Stay tuned until we come again. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me tell you that this next series is going to be very exciting. You do need to hear Buma's story. It's all about Jesus and what he can do in the life of a man. But follow this series. You will hear things. I promise you that you will hear things. Please note, this young man was, was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. The devil. The devil made a demand which the innocent woman resisted. That was the reason she was thrown out. There is a lesson there. If you have any convictions and you sell yourself for a mess of pottage, you become a profane person in God's eyes. God did not leave that woman where they threw her. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. You will hear things. Forward this video to your friends. Send us your comments. God will bless you. Thank you.